Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my Euro Truck Simulator 2 Speed Challenge, 30 mile per hour challenge A career mode where we are following Doug the Bug and his company Buggy Transport Before I get anything started I know that he's tired so we're going to have to go and get some rest I'm not too sure, but I think I saw a hotel in the city centre. But we're going to get there, we're going to get him to get some sleep. But we'll get down there, pack him up, get some rest. But we've not made a good start to the trip. We've just uh, cut that corner and clipped the wing mirror off that truck which has resulted in us being fined £350 not a great start but hopefully things can only get better I can just put it down to tiredness that's all but if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further videos that are due to be released you'll be one of the first to be notified and hit that like button it helps my YouTube algorithm and helps me get my channel promoted if you leave a comment I'll be sure to get back to you I was right when I said there was an hotel down here so we're just going to get him parked up lights off, curtains shut engine off heater on because it's a bit cold up here get some sleep and I'll see you when he awakens so good night all I'll see you in a few moments. Not a brilliant night's sleep, but that's what you get for sleeping next to a main route. Good news is that I've just had the text message saying that Fleming has earned me £9,000. That's good news. All goes to the coffers and the expansion of the company. I'm currently employing five drivers. I've got five trucks, plus my truck and another truck. Oh, there's six of us out and about spread over Europe it'd be nice if the other five would earn me money but time differences and time scales it all don't come in at once so before we had our kit we left DB Schenker here in Andorra we're currently transporting 46,000 pounds of gummy bears so you will net transport in Zaragoza so we're back over the border into Spain it's a total journey of 179 miles which means that we will be traveling at 30 miles per hour and for this we're going to get paid 7,449 euros or the pound equivalent is 6,518 pounds so we left the hotel at just before 10.30 p.m on the Sunday evening we're going to be travelling through the night hopefully the roads are going to be pretty quiet so we've just gone through checkpoint Juan which is the Spanish equivalent of checkpoint Charlie by my calculations 179, 180 miles 30 miles an hour 6 hours add an hour for mishaps and detours and traffic and speed changes I think we should be there for about 5am on the Monday morning the route we're going to be taking today is we've already left Andorra on the N145 in a southbound direction we'll be picking up the N260 and we'll be going west towards Lieda and Barcelona We'll be taking the scenic route through the mountains. We will then be picking up the A2 towards Huesca, Busca, however you say it, and Zaragoza. When we hit Lieda, we'll be picking up the LL11, then onto the N11, and then back onto the A2 Zaragoza. Then take the country route. Country Road, the N11 into Zaragoza, 
uh, will be exited for Santa Isabel, which is in the northeast part of the city. And then we will be going on the A123 into the centre of Zaragoza, where we will be dropping off our load at Wilnet Transport. If you're interested in how I use my sources for my routing, all I do is I use Google Maps and I follow the route through that. But well, whilst I was at home the other day, I started looking through my racks and racks of CDs and found one that I hadn't heard for a while. Brought it with me to work and I thought I could play it in the truck. I hope you can enjoy these tunes. It's uh, a lot of indie stuff. I'll put it on. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Feeling the need for a bit of speed. I'm going down now on this mountain, and this is the only time that you'll ever see me going over 30 miles per hour on this sort of job because I'm just pre rolling down. Sort of donkey city planner pots followed so close to the edge of the pavement on a roundabout that's so small. But there's nothing behind me because I'm gonna have to reverse back a little bit here to try and free my trailer off this bollard. This is not looking good. I don't like blue lights on slip boards that I'm supposed to get off of. 
Oh, the stationary traffic there. I'm just gonna have to go on, see what's what. Hopefully there's nothing too major and I can get past. Oh, detours, detours. Can't stand detours. So it looks like the slip road is blocked off. Nice. I'm gonna have to reverse out because these coppers have just stopped me. And I don't know what's happening with these trucks up here. It looks like they're all fighting to get into the same lane. I don't know how much time this is gonna put on me. So it's caused another accident. There's a car there and it looks like it's been trying to change lanes. The truck's running to the side of it. I don't know how long it's going to take to clear this. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. I haven't got time to mess around. I think we was quite lucky there because it got moving quite quickly. So I'm a happy bunny about that. Wasn't too bad, wasn't too much of a detour. All that happened was they just directed us round uh, the east side of the ring road. So we've come back onto the A2 A anyway, but it's not too bad. Didn't take much, too much time, didn't gain too many miles on it either. You a dipstick, Mr. Bus Driver. Can you not see me indicating? Why didn't you just yield at the sign and stop? You've just run straight into me. You've cost me 350 quid. <sighs> Think before you act, stupid or. They drive like effing maniacs. Why? It's half past two in the morning. Why do you have to drive like not right?
Okay, Koki. Well, here now. Uh, wasn't too bad a drive after our little mishaps in Lieda. But they want it right over in the far corner. Which is going to be a bit of a difficult one because I noticed as we were coming in, there's a shed blocking half of it. So we'll do our best. We'll try and get this in without scraping the trailer. I'll just uh, rejoin you when I've parked it up. I have to concentrate, you know. There we go, it's fitting in like a glove. Made uh, 9,000 off Fleming, 6.5 off this job, that's 15,500. 700 quid for fines, that gives us 14,800. If you've liked what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Until next time, stay safe, happy trucking.